In this session, we're going to talk about one of the world's most famous drummers. Most of you know who he is, Steve Gadd. He has revolutionized the drumming industry. He's changed everything with drumming. He's made what didn't used to be cool, he made it cool. It used to be that when you were in a drum session, all they wanted was this. That was fine. The drummers would come in and they would play the drum track usually with a keyboard player and a bass player and then everything would be added on top of that. That's not how Steve Gadd would do it. When people would hire Steve Gadd, they would basically work it up. Many times they would have other drummers like Jim Keltner or some other drummer come in and they would work the song up. Jim Keltner would still be paid for the session but then Steve Gadd would come in and sometimes he would just sight read the song and all of a sudden bring the song and the track alive. No one played like Steve Gadd. Everything he did, it was meant. And what I mean by that is every single stroke that he would hit on the drums, it was meant. You felt everything. You heard everything. And he made a big statement every time he played. He became the most in-demand drummer and the most recorded drummer probably in history. It was amazing. Drummers like Dave Weckl and many other drummers around the world would not be who they are if it weren't for Steve Gadd. Steve Gadd paved the way for so many drummers. All right, so today, instead of doing three different drum fills that he did, and he used them as fills and as a solo... Instead of doing all three, I decided to break them up into three different sections, specifically because it could make the video quite a bit longer. Nobody likes brain overload, so I'll give you the chance to write it all down and work on this one. I'll put the sticking in the description, and you can work it up to your level. All right, so let's start with the very first groove. All right, here it is. And many times he would play it even slower than that. One of the things that Steve Gadd always emphasized when you would hear him in interviews is he would always say, stay relaxed, fight how your body feels. Don't try to rush. Don't try to push ahead. Because whenever it's time for a drummer to shine, we all tend to, as drummers to say, oh, it's our time. Hey, let's play something cool. And then we get a little bit anxious and we start to push a little bit. Well, Steve Gadd kept it right in the pocket no matter what he did. Very impressive. And you can go back and you can listen to how he did it then and you can listen to how he does it now. It's the same way. And it's extremely impressive. And it's something that every drummer should aspire to do. Okay, so this drum fill, it starts off as a six-stroke roll. Right, left, left, right, right, left, right. And then he adds the kick drum at the end. So right, left, left, right, right, left, right, kick. All right, so once it follows back around, it changes. So it's. Okay, so it's right, left, left, right, right, left, right, kick, left, left, right, right, left, right, kick, left, left, right, right, left, right, kick. So. And then he would roll it around the toms. And 
And then he would change it up a little bit. Then he would say, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, kick. And he would keep it on the snare two times around instead of... Then he would keep it on the snare. And then he would displace the accent on the snare. And kind of messing with everybody's head. <laughs> All right. And that's how he would play it as a fill and in the solo. But here are a couple examples of how he would play it in the groove. great way to practice that is keeping your hat consistent just like I started doing at the very end of that you know exactly where the time is one two three four So there you go, gives you some ideas of how to play that. It can be played in a solo, it can be played in a fill, it can be played any way you want, just keep it in the groove. Just keep that one fill in the groove. Every time you hear him play that fill, it's always in time, always. I hope that helps you out a lot. I will see you on the next one. Cheers.